The Defense Readiness Condition, also known as DEFCON, is an alert state used by the United States Armed Forces. The DEFCON system was developed by the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Unified and Specified Combatant Commands. Developed in 1959, the system prescribes five graduated levels of readiness, or states of alert, for the US military. It increases in severity from DEFCON 5, the least severe, to DEFCON 1, the most severe. The DEFCON level is controlled primarily by the US President and the US Secretary of Defense through the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Combatant Commanders. Each level defines specific security, activation and response scenarios for the personnel in question. Different branches of the US Armed Forces and different bases or command groups can be activated at different defense conditions. The United States Department of Defense uses exercise terms when referring to DEFCON levels during exercises. This is to preclude the possibility of confusing exercise commands with actual operational commands. The DEFCONs from least severe to most severe are as follows. DEFCON 5, fade out, lowest state of readiness, normal readiness. DEFCON 4, double take increased intelligence watch and strengthened security measures, above normal readiness. DEFCON 3, roundhouse, increase in force readiness above that required for normal readiness, air force ready to mobilize in 15 minutes. DEFCON 2, fast pace, next step to nuclear war, armed forces ready to deploy and engage in less than six hours. DEFCON 1, cocked pistol, Nuclear war is imminent or has already started. Maximum readiness, immediate response. Since its inception, the highest DEFCON level reached is DEFCON 2, as far as the public is aware. During the Cuban Missile Crisis on October 16, 1962, the US Armed Forces were ordered to DEFCON 3. On October 24th, Strategic Air Command was ordered to DEFCON 2, while the rest of the US Armed Forces remained at DEFCON 3. They remained at DEFCON 2 until November 15th. On January 15th, 1991, the Joint Chiefs of Staff declared DEFCON 2 in the opening phase of Operation Desert Storm during the Persian Gulf War. On October 6th, 1973, Egypt and Syria launched a joint attack on Israel, resulting in the Yom Kippur War. The United States became concerned that the Soviet Union might intervene, and on October 25th, US forces were placed at DEFCON 3. Following the axe murder incident at Pan Munjom in 1976, readiness levels for US forces in South Korea were increased to DEFCON 3, where they remained throughout Operation Paul Bunyan. During the September 11 attacks, Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld ordered the DEFCON level to be increased to 3, and also a standby for a possible increase to DEFCON 2. It was lowered to DEFCON 4 on September 14th. 